Greetings, life forms, wherever you're receiving us. This is Justin. And Matt. Mm, I burned my tongue. I'm Landon Doan. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Good start. Yeah, off to a hot start. Ah, it's good Literally. to be back. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is good to be back, my friends. <laughs> How and you feeling, by the way? I'm feeling good. I, I want to quell the rumors really quick that I got um, vocal cord enhancement surgery. <laughs> that, nice. that did not occur. Yeah, um, our, our insurance wouldn't cover that. As you can tell, I still sound like me, mm-hmm. which is fine. I think it's good enough. Most of our listeners are a fan of you, so yeah. there you go. <laughs> that works. Although I heard there were some pretty good reviews for the, the dadless episode. <laughs> um, so it makes me kind of wonder, and, and maybe maybe you guys just don't need me around. No, no, we definitely do need oh, you. Uh, um, I can't mm-hmm. I can't keep that up show to show. Uh, yeah, uh, um, obviously, last episode, we were without you, and it was fun, but at the same time, there is a little... Nice thing we like to call structure. I was going to say, I yeah. need structure. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and as anybody that listened to the uh, Thursday show, God, do we need some structure. Oh, my gosh. I, I don't, I think it's, it could be a drinking game how many times Squirrel happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it definitely was a one-man drinking game. I'll tell you that. No, I'll tell you this, this is true. So I was a bystander in the room while the episode was yeah, being I recorded. Be I was, I was kind of sitting to the side watching the events happen, and... I will tell you that there were a lot of similarities to that experience and helping my daughter learn to drive because I'm sitting there in the passenger seat basically mm-hmm. looking for my brake pedal, looking for my steering wheel, <laughs> going, how can we get this thing back on track? <laughs> and, and being in the passenger seat, there's nothing avo- you can do. Nothing how you can, can do. we avoid a total disaster out here on the road? <laughs> hey, we didn't get sued for libel by Jim McElwain, so that's so, good. So far. Yeah, so far. Hashtag actually, McElwain humped a shark. I actually saw Allegedly. a post on uh, Facebook that says, we have identified the shark perpetrator. Mm. It was a huge post on like one of these, you know, I think it was newsreel. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't yeah. it end up being like a former New York police officer or something? Yeah, I was like... And well, here, there, there was some talk that it was the Jimmy John CEO because... I saw that too. He's like a big game hunter. Yeah. So it wasn't him? Yeah. No. Uh, I, I didn't read it. I, I mean, you guys told me it was just that guy, so I believed you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I read the article and I had no idea that Jim McElwain was a former New York uh, police <laughs> yeah. officer. So, well, crazy thing. Now we know. Right. Now we know. <laughs> now we know. So it is and episode... Jimmy John's. <laughs> It is episode number 46 of Nerd News Cafe. Today is May 21st, and in keeping with our tradition of weather, it is a rainy, overcast day, but that's good because it was literally 200 degrees yesterday. Oh, it was brutal. So we did need a little bit of a break. (sighs) But guess what? There's no reason to go outside. We we talked about about coming into the summer, the movies that were coming out, the games Mm -hmm. that were coming out. We have plenty of reason to stay inside. We're going to get to all that stuff, so I say let's get to it and let's take a look at our Twitter headlines. If you'd like to follow along with us, take a look at our stream, see what we've liked, retweeted, quoted, see some of our quips, if you will. Hey! We are funny (laughs) occasionally. You can do that at nerd underscore news underscore cafe. And um, I'm going to hop on over myself to the little social, social media um, so that I can take a look at what I'm not going to make the music like I do Comic Corner. No. <laughs> you used the same <laughs> intro for it yeah. just now. You're like, I'm going to hop right over here. But one of the things, no music for you. because it's been a couple weeks, um, in, in fact, it, since <laughs> Free Comic Book Day, um, since Guardians of the Galaxy vol- Volume 2 hit the theaters, and at that time, I had not seen it. Now I have, and I think I'd like to chat about <laughs> it. So we're going to be giving out real Guardians of the Galaxy spoilers <laughs> as opposed spoilers. to... Fake Guardians of the Galaxy spoilers like we did at Free Comic Book Day. That's right. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so here come the real ones. Like, mm-hmm. uh, Rocket Raccoon is not a raccoon. Mm-hmm. He's actually Mickey Mouse. He's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> I never saw the big ears coming. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just, uh, my, I'll, I'll, I'll give you my first take on it. And and actually, no, no, I want to save it. I want to save Uh-oh. it because mine's mine's the most recent, and I think it might be different than your all. So, let's, let's start, Matt. What was your reaction just overall to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? I liked it a lot. I liked that they played up the other characters. Um, I st- it Still presently, I don't know how I feel about Kurt Russell. I just mm-hmm. don't. I I like Kurt Russell. Don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll watch just about anything he's in. Mm-hmm. But I feel like him being in this movie is only because of Vin Diesel <laughs> from, I think it was a Fast and Furious pool. <laughs> So, oh, yeah, he was in the yeah and, and, and I feel like he's like, oh, you, you like being in this movie? Come and be in my other movie. All I say is I'm crude. I mean, it's freaking, you just print your own money. You know? That's <laughs> so, a really good Vin Diesel. I, good I do not do as good a Vin Diesel as I've heard. Um, <laughs> uh, 
you know. I'm just going to stop. <laughs> that, that was, that, that that was still low. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. He was, 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 was also You going. know. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's, that's all the impressions you get for this movie. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, I liked, um, is it Drax? Yeah. Drax. Mm-hmm. I liked the humor of Drax. Mm-hmm. I, a lot of, I've heard a lot of people were downing, you know, this old, you know, I almost said Ultimate Warrior. <laughs> this, uh, this, you know, this, you know, this, this big, you know, burly warrior who is supposed to be like the best, and they uh, they made him comic relief. Yeah, so they did. They added a lot of humor to Drax this mm-hmm. time. I liked it though, and. I don't know. I, like I said, the whole Kurt Russell thing, I just, I don't, I, d- I think if it had been somebody else, I wouldn't feel as weird out, out, about it, but I don't know who else could play Chris Pratt's dad, so. Nathan Fillion, but that's my answer to everybody, so. Nathan <sighs> Fillion could be the Finn for Aren't Jaws they the if they're remaking Jaws, so. Oh, well. <laughs> he could have been Zondu's new Finn. There we go. Absolutely. Done <laughs> oh, and done. True, James Gunn, true. we're printing money over true. here. <laughs> we're doing it for you. But, but my, probably my favorite is the play-up of Groot. And the play up of uh, Rocket because I think okay. sh- showing him in battle was mm. the ultimate for me. So, Landon, um, if I had to give this a five star originally after seeing it opening night, I would have given it a two and a half. Mm-hmm. Uh, after reflecting, I'm gonna go with a three, still okay. not as glowing as everybody, but I enjoyed the movie. I didn't enjoy it as much as the first Guardians of the Galaxy. No. Uh, I liked the humor of Drax, like, Drax was the standout star in this mm-hmm. movie for me. Uh, I liked the introduction of Mantis, the new character. Mm-hmm. Um, but there were a couple points where I felt like the comedy or the humor was just trying too hard i don't like i don't have Go- a, goofy jokes yeah I, I don't have a specific scene there that was stands out. what i what i was thinking um that reminded me and i think i told you guys this before there was a lot of um uh, uh, uh lo- low low hanging fruit comedy you know it was mm-hmm. just like ha 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 joy come i don't know what it's called go but for it, the or go for the easy joke yeah, yeah the easy joke mm-hmm. and then and then they do something really amazing and then it's goofy joke time you know mm-hmm. and it's like oh this really isn't that funny Back to the amazing stuff, you know, and it's kind of back and forth, back and forth. So. Well, and, and I another, understand what you mean. Another problem I had with the movie is it followed a superhero trope at this point, yeah. and it aggravates the hell out of me. If we're if it's a sequel, we got to split the team up. We got to go Scooby Doo. Let's split up, gang. And yeah. and it's like, oh, by the way, Rocket, you're gonna watch the Prisoner of War and the Baby because because yeah. Groot is a baby. So, yeah. but yeah. Um, three out of five stars. I enjoyed it. Uh, there at the end, uh, spoiler alert, when it gets like all Dragon Ball Z stuff, when when <laughs> yeah. Star Lord is fighting yeah. Ego, it's like okay, this is kind of dumb, but it it was a fine movie. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I probably enjoyed being in the background of battles now than I like being in them. Hmm. You know how Avengers is always you're in the middle of the battle, you're seeing everybody do everything. Uh-huh. It seems like this movie was like, no, you're kind of off to the like you've got really bad seats at an event, <laughs> and you kind of see what's going on, and 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 like the openings like that. Yeah. I was just and then true. and then mm-hmm. and then the whole rocket and Groot thing in the in the rock. Mm-hmm. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, don't don't hit this button. Don't hit this button. That whole thing, and and, and they're going. That's true. They're going, you know, ape out there. <laughs> I enjoyed that more. I was like, "This is entertaining," mm-hmm. especially that opening scene uh, with yeah. the yellows, Mister Mister Blue yes. Sky. That was just the perfect open. Like, I even liked the callback where like Baby Groot's dancing and Drax looks at him and he stops. Yeah, yeah. he's like, "Nice little callback yeah. to the uh, yeah. to the post credit scene." And it's like, I like that part. And it's like James Gunn, the director. He has done a really good job of Visually. putting you in action, mm-hmm. but like you said, you're not in the action. Yeah. In that opening sequence, we saw them fight that big giant monster just off in the periphery. It's like we mm-hmm. we saw the effect of this monster's cause. We didn't necessarily see the cause get to the effect. Yeah. So I like that. Probably my I laughed the hardest, and 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 right at the first of the movie is where um and spoiler alert um is where Groot gets that bug in its mouth. Rocket stops whatever he's doing and comes over and goes, no, no stop, no, get that out of your, get mouth. Out of your mouth. Get it out of your mouth. Like like a parent. He goes, what, what is wrong with you? And then he goes right back to doing yep. this mm-hmm. you know, deed of trying to take down this monster. I laughed so hard at that. Mm-hmm. Baby Groot was good. Maybe. And and like I, since we're already in spoiler territory, that uh, post scene or post credit scene where we see teenage Groot. Oh my god, That gosh. was great. It's yes. like, I want to see that movie. Yeah, like, absolutely. <laughs> I, I would like to see that in a short, just short, 
I don't watch trailers, but I'll watch those for mm-hmm. three if they just keep giving me stuff like that. Yep. And I guess we have to assume by this point when Guardians mm-hmm. of the Galaxy Volume 3 rolls around, well, that'll be after Infinity Wars. Yeah. We're going to see Groot full grown next, right? I think I think so. I would think Groot would be full. I think that's what they were. That's what that scene yeah. was. It was like, hey, mm-hmm. Groot's going to be full grown by that's the time. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But uh, those were my thoughts, Jay. Uh, let's so you, let's yeah. well, all right. Let's hear it, man. For it? Let's hear Hot it. And fresh. Here we go. Give us I'm that gonna, one star, or five star. It's gonna be one or the other. I'm gonna drop it right here, um, right at the beginning, and then I'll back it up with my facts. This was better than the first one. Whoa! Mm. All right. mm-hmm. And here's why: you didn't have to put the team together because the first movie you wasted a lot of time putting mm-hmm. the team together. This movie, we got to see the full like. We, okay, we've already established we know there's something more to Star Lord. You, you're talking about the Dragon Ball C fight at the end. Mm-hmm. I actually like that. First of all, it's the only time we're ever going to see it because now that power's that gone. Is true. Mm-hmm. But we actually got to see the power that was inside of him. He fully realized it mm-hmm. before it was gone. I thought that was really cool. Plus, like you said, we didn't have to focus on it. It was more of a background thing. That's true. Yeah. And, and it was really more focused on everybody else getting out safe at mm-hmm. that point, which mm-hmm. I thought was cool because. We get epic battles in all kinds of movies. You mentioned Avengers. Mm-hmm. We get the Hulk smashing into yeah. Ultron. You know, that, yeah. that's worth it. We see that all the time. Or Ragdoll we, and Loki. Exactly. Ragdoll. <laughs> we don't need to always see that as no. in the foreground, but in the background, it's awesome. It's hilarious. As a backdrop yeah. to everything else that's happening. You know, I actually really liked Kurt Russell. I thought he did a really good job. Um, I don't dislike him. I just don't know how I feel because about it. <laughs> I'll tell you this. Like, like, starting from the beginning of the movie... He, he automatically, you're on his side. You're like, oh, it's he, unless you know ego and you know a little mm-hmm. bit about the backstory. I don't, but, and, that, and that's what I went into it with. He's a planet. Yeah. Well, I knew that now. <laughs> but but like, you're like, oh, it's his, it's his dad. This is what Star Star Lord's always wanted. It, there was so many emotional plays in this movie. Yes, even more than the first one. And when when Kurt Russell dropped the, that's oh. why I put the tumor in your. I'm sorry, this is a big spoiler. We're already in but, spoiler but, territory. But when he said that to Star Lord, that was like dropping the epic Thor hammer. But we all knew it. Yeah, you I kind will, of did. And I, I will say, we all might have known that, but there was an audible gasp yeah. in my in audience. No, no, no. I was like, him, him verbalizing it is everything to our society. When mm-hmm. you when you admit yeah. to, to wronghood, yeah. <laughs> you you were a villain. But it was so, still a very powerful thing. So, it, so it's pulling from what they established in the first one, which is that relationship and, and Star-Lord watching his mom mm-hmm. die. Mm-hmm. Well, And then that is that just opens that nerve right there. So it's a great way to harvest emotions you've already created. Soundtrack was great. Mm -hmm. I will tell you this. I didn't like Humor Drax. I wish he'd been more straight man like he was in the first one because he's just supposed to be a freaking warrior. He's supposed Mm -hmm. to be a no-nonsense warrior. That's what Drax is supposed to be. So I thought they went a little too far with him being funny. Like... I actually thought the practical joke on Mantis was funny because it's like he doesn't get it. Yeah. So so that mm-hmm. makes sense. That fits in his character. But just being goofy, silly all like, the time. Ha, 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 that is the punchline. I, yeah. I, I, you've actually brought some ideas to my mind. Go ahead. So so then um, I like the development of Rocket. I love I love the, the whole turn of him mm-hmm. realizing, okay, I'm not going to be alone. Like the end of it at the end, mm-hmm. uh, that was uh, that was emotional. Yeah. Now I did I did that enjoy cool. the send off to Windu. Yondu. Windu. Yondu. Yondu. Mace Windu. God. Mace Windu. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it is a it is a status quo that I don't know names. That is true. I don't know anyone's name. I just throw it out there, and you guys correct me, and I move forward. Windu. But but right. but Yondu, Yondu in, in this was, movie was amazing. Oh, he was so that good. actor though. I'm Michael gonna say right Rooker, now, Michael Rooker. Yeah. yeah, Michael Rooker, even in Walking Dead, was amazing. You hated him. You loved him. Yep. You hated him. And in this, it was the same way. It's like I. You're like, ah, oh, really? He's a villain, but you know, he's so good. Yeah. He's yeah. so good. He is Mary Poppins, y'all. He is Mary Poppins. <laughs> that line, I want to say anytime I do anything amazing, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, throw it out there. I will leave that one unspooled. <laughs> but that line, I want to say anytime I'm doing anything. Yeah. yeah. I want to scream it at, nice I want to scream it at my son's baseball game when he hit it. I was like, <laughs> I just want to scream it. Do it, dude. Own it. <laughs> I just know. Do it. I may do it for his last game there for you fun. Go. But um, I love the Hasselhoff cameo. Mm-hmm, that was good. That was, that oh was my hilarious. Gosh. I love that he still had the picture. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I used to tell people all the time, and he still got the picture. Does that really surprise you? Because it's like... He I, left it 10. Es- especially in this movie, you really see like Star-Lord, Chris Pratt's character, I mean... He has hardcore arrested development yeah. from that moment where his yeah. mom died. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, even even when he's like, "Wait, I can I can make anything I want. I'm gonna make some really weird, <laughs> sh- just, yeah, just a heads, up. yeah, just a heads up. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. make some stuff. <laughs> yeah. So and and then in in the climax, he makes his he makes Pac-Man. exactly even down to the waka 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 sound. So it's like, I, yeah, yeah. So anyway, for the fact that 
we got right to the story. We were mm. thrown right into it. By the way, I don't know what the gold people are called. But I really enjoyed that they were always like in the background doing something. They, they were weren't a threat, threat, but they were always. It, I, this is another callback to Walking Dead. But the zombies really aren't a prominent part of that show. But they're always there. Yeah. They're in the background. They, yeah. they're, 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 they're this background threat. It's like, hey, if you get out of that line, these people are going to get you. Yeah. You know, and that's what they were. That's that's, that's a really. I like reality. the fact that they were digital. Well, like they, no one dies in their yeah. society. Mm-hmm. It's like we'll yep. send a proxy. Exactly. So it made me think this is a setup for either a video game or an attraction. Like oh, at, true, at a theme true, park, true. you could fill a whole room of those consoles and have people doing assaults, trying to take on the yeah, guardians. That, that is really easy money, right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. That that is a missed opportunity in the Star Wars. They could do it in exactly. Star Wars. Imagine yeah. imagine those consoles, whether you could be X Wing or, or Tie Fighter, oh, yeah. and you put it That'd into cool. a battle. You put it into the Battlefront engine. Yep. Done. Well, there's uh, there's already an arcade game where it's like it lets you fly around in like certain like big battles. But yeah, that'd if be somebody cool knows if what this is, and, yeah. this is forever ago. There used to be a video game in Oak Ridge that was a gyroscope type game mm-hmm. where you flew a Tie Fighter, mm-hmm. and it would rotate all the way around. You had to strap in. It was a couple dollars. Wow. That I don't know what awesome. it was called. I don't know. And I mean, it was very limited. The graphics were like Star Fox uh-huh. kind of yeah. graphics, you know. But it was so much fun. Hmm, I don't know what it's called. I, I've looked it up a hundred times on the internet. I can't find it. That does sound cool. That sounds like a lot of fun. It might have been a hand built, but you I know. Used to, I used to just really get excited about playing Afterburner and all it did was rock back and forth. Rock back and forth. This thing <laughs> yep. this thing would go around and around. It was like almost gyros. It wouldn't go you wouldn't go completely upside down, but you would rotate in a ball. Shout out to Sunset Riders if we're talking about old school video games. <laughs> oh, I Daytona like USA yeah. too? Mm-hmm, yeah. So <laughs> get on my level. <laughs> Do you remember you'd go to like a big arcade, they'd have a whole wall of Daytona USA. Oh my gosh. Yep. And I would dare somebody. I would sit in a seat and wait. <laughs> because I had that game. I had I knew what map I wanted to play and I knew how to play it. Because I would go. Uh, let me give you guys a little tip. If you're gonna be go down that arcade, because you know they're still around. If you go into a turn and you go from fourth to first gear, Mm -hmm. your tires will cut loose and you can drift the entirety of one side of that course. (laughs) He's over here hustling kids for their lunch money. This is great. I didn't put the quarter in. I didn't take their. I didn't take their little hand and flip it. You know what? That's payback. And maybe it's karma. I'm getting it. I'm getting it back on the Xbox now. Or these these twelve year olds like I own you. And then they call you a racial slur. It's like you shouldn't be saying. And teabag me. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It is the internet. Everybody teabags everybody. That's true. That's true. All right, let's wrap it up because we've spent a lot of time on Guardians. I know what it was about Kurt Russell. I just figured it out. That's what I said. I know what it is. He didn't get to riff anything. That's true. He played very straight. straight, Mm -hmm. He was straight to the script, and I think I felt like it wasn't Kurt Russell. I was like, this isn't my Kurt Russell. But he did. He was very much. I'll I'll compare it to. He was amazing. Do me good. He is is a golden Greek god. I'll compare it to the way (laughs) I felt about Chris Pratt in Jurassic World. He was Ah, very much caged into his character. There is one part in Jurassic World that I feel like he was Chris Pratt, and that's when he's talking to her at his cabin, and he's oh. working on stuff. I thought that was his, yeah. his little, little bit of him, yeah, his little, little time to be himself. So That's what that movie needed more of, being Burt Macklin. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I agree. Uh, uh, real quick on the Guardians, especially on the Kurt Russell stuff, that CG in the very opening, that looked just like Kurt Russell. It really did. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, especially here recently, it's a... Uh, you know, making older Hollywood stars look young with CG. Is that yeah. the best we've seen? It's It was less creepy than Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. it and didn't take you out of the movie like like yeah. the RDJ did. Yeah. And you confirmed that, that, that it, they didn't put an actor in there? No, that is that is CG. Wow. Yeah. Because I looked, I was like, oh, they've done the face thing with, with you know, with somebody. I didn't realize that was him. Mm-hmm. That wow. was CG. So that was pretty it was good. amazing. I was like, oh my God, what a baby. So anyway. <laughs> I bet Goldie's like, can you do that? All yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so but there's my argument. Yeah, what is what is your your so here here's rating. the tough thing because I wouldn't give it five stars because I don't think it's a perfect movie. Are there things that could be better? Sure, there's things I would have changed, but it's I've I've painted myself in a bit of a corner because I think I probably gave Guardians a four L- out of or L- four point five of, out of five. If- Let me give you a mouse mouse door out. Give us your fandom mm-hmm. rating and then give a rating you think it should have. But even as a in a fandom rating, I wouldn't give it a really. Five you're tough. Five. You're a tough critic. Yeah, I mean, I would give I the, I'd give this one a four, <laughs> but okay. I think I'd also give the previous one a four. But between the two, if they're neck and neck, I like this one better. You give it that four point. I honestly, four point even one. I I can rewatch volume one anytime. I really love mm-hmm. it, even though they didn't call it volume one. I call it volume one. <laughs> yeah, um, do we now have to call it volume. I'm one? going to. That okay. is weird. So <laughs> it was I, just a soundtrack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, but I would I think 
I am really excited to rewatch this one mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and see Very how many so. more times they put Howard the Duck in that movie because he was all over the James place. James Gunn really <laughs> likes Howard the Duck. <laughs> I so. mean, to each their own, yeah. but you know. All right. In the interest of equal time, let's move on to um, some some other things that we've got yeah. you know, on the Twitter feed this week. Let's let's talk really quickly. Let's stay in the movie realm and let's talk about um, let's talk about a, an alien, not Alien Covenant yet. Okay, but we're going to talk about an alien, maybe a symbiote. Oh, okay. Ah. I see where we're going. Pirates of the Caribbean. Exactly. <laughs> Hitting theaters this week. <laughs> Sorry. I don't want to see that. Dead men tell no tales, my friends. Um, no, I'm talking about the announcement that Tom Hardy is going to be putting on the symbiote or attaching himself to the symbiote. Or the symbiote's going to be attaching himself to him. They will be symbiotic mm-hmm. and he will be Venom. Yes, that is super cool. Uh, do we know the movie? Like, yeah. It, is, is it going to be a full blown Venom movie? That's what I read. Okay. It's but a Venom but movie. can you have a Venom movie without Spider Man? No, he'll have to be in it, I would think. He would have to he be. He would have to be. And, yeah. and it really so, does. So, do we just skip the struggle? See, it's like, that's. I'm excited about the casting. Like, from a, from a fan standpoint, this is a slam dunk, no brainer, great, great casting. But it's like. You do have to have Spider Man in that in that universe, and Spider Man's over here playing playing with the Avengers. He's mm-hmm. he's getting ready to play with with uh, Tony Stark and, and, and Vulture, and then he's getting gonna go into space and play yeah. like you said with everybody. So it's like, at what point do you introduce Spider Man in this movie where you can introduce Venom? Because I do think you do have to have a Spider Man to have a, a Venom. presence. Yeah. Exactly, it's like you can't have a Yang without a Yin. Yeah, and is this this is a Sony movie, right? I believe so. Yeah, yes. I, this I is think Sony. so. So, so it has to be, yeah. So they can pull him in. Um, it sounds like I, I don't know, just based on some recent news, it sounds like Sony's pretty willing to let um, Marvel use Spider Man for like upcoming movies, but they do want him back. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they actually have any plans for Marvel Studios to use Spider Man past the second Infinity War movie. Yeah, Homecoming that, that could too. be true. It, have they announced a Homecoming too? They said there'll be a sequel to Homecoming. Okay, and that's the last. Okay, but That'll I'm thinking it. you'll have Homecoming. I guess two Infinity War movies. Yeah, part one and two. Part part one and two. That's what we're being told. I got a feeling there'll be a three, or they might Harry Potter us all together and do four. No, but <laughs> no. But uh, two of those, and then Homecoming two, if that's even a title. But that's what they keep saying huh. is after that, then he retains back to Sony for them I'll to just, re- for them to reboot. Well, I'll just tell you this: I love <laughs> Tom Hardy. Mm-hmm. It, Matt, Matt Amazing Max now. Fury Road was so, so good. Yeah, me and you saw that. That was a great movie, and and mm-hmm. he was so good in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I really think Charlie's Throne stole the show in that movie. Mm-hmm. She was incredible. Furiosa, Furiosa rules. Gosh, she was so good. But I think the story was really good. It was mm-hmm. hard to look past that was anything, a great but the movie. yeah, to the story. But Tom Hardy's amazing. Let's He's just really stop good. recording and go watch Mad Max Fury Road. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> right, taking a break, guys. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited. Tom Hardy, everything mm-hmm. that I've seen him in, I've really enjoyed him. I think he plays a good bad guy. He does, and he's he's imposing as mm-hmm. a person. Mm-hmm. So like Eddie Brock, Venom should be exactly. Mm-hmm. So I think he can play a humble end too. I've seen him play a little bit lesser ends, you know, as far as what he does. Um, yeah, it's, but as far as like intimidation factor, mm. um, do you guys ever see? I think it's called Fighter, The Fighter. I don't think I've seen that. No, nope. where he was in the uh, he was his him and his he him and his brother were in the MMA or, or moving up through. Yeah, uh, have not seen that. It was really good. Um, I recommend that one. He he doesn't have a whole lot of speaking parts, but he has this like determination factor. It's like this is not a guy you mess with. Hmm. So, well, and it being a Sony picture movie, I know they have been wanting to do their whole like Spider Verse thing. They were yeah. they were building towards the Sinister Six and. I'm kind of disappointed that didn't happen. I know a lot of people didn't like who they cast for like Rhino and that goofiness. But yeah, but I, 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 Giamani, I don't know that he's a superhero villain. Yeah, it's like I like you, Paul Giamani. I but, love him, mm-hmm. but it's like maybe stay sideways, bro. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> go, go drink some wine. Um, maybe that's what Sony is going to do in the meantime. They're mm-hmm. going to build their Spider Verse while Spider Man's over here playing with the Avengers and right. stuff like that. Well, so it gets when, the fandom exactly. But so it, but again. It kind of feels like if they were to do that, it would be putting the cart in front of the horse. It's like it's like you can't have the devil without God. You can't sure. have a Yang without Yin. You can't have black without white. You can't have Venom without Spider Man. Let me ask you this: What if, and I don't know what Homecoming is, but what if we get a a teaser at the end of Homecoming somewhere where the symbiont enters and enters, you know, becomes a part of him? The next thing we see in Infinity War. He's in the black suit. 
I am pro whatever it takes to get <laughs> Spider-Man in the black costume. That is, uh, we like to use the technical term of my jams on this show. Mm-hmm. That is my jams. Hashtag right my jams. Exactly. So, and then the smart move is you let him be in the black costume, disregard it however you want to disregard it. There's what, three or four different stories of how that happens now. Yeah, he's been putting the black costume a lot. But. So let him get rid of it. The last suit he'll ever wear. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's a different black suit. Oh, that's a different black suit. Um, <laughs> that's terrible. I'll watch that crossover. No. <laughs> I, I will watch it, but... It's re- aliens. The yep. reboot. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's going to have to What's be What's that good. stand for? Mid, in, black. No, no, wait, come on. Down. No, no, up. no. God, we're, we're, we're not nearly Have you heard my Will Smith you. impression? It sounds like Samuel L. Jackson. Uh, have you heard his act. impressions earlier? <laughs> <laughs> So we can get Sylvester Stallone I'm singing the Men in Black. Hey, Men in Black. <laughs> oh, my song. Hey, speaking of Sylvester Stallone, call back. He was in Guardians. Mm-hmm. I know. Screw we, you guys. We were mentioning that when, when you were doing Oh, your I did not hear that. Oh, you were you know what? My mouth's open. It's, well, and there's, and there's rumors that uh, James Gunn said that Volume 3 is going to be the last iteration of this Guardians of the Galaxy. So a lot of people are speculating. Oh, please, The no. character yeah, that he played as Starhawk, and he was part yeah. of the original Guardians. So. Yeah, I know, but I don't There's going to be a new lineup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. expendables in space. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> and and I don't even know if they would go full board. It's like, yeah, we're gonna follow Starhawk and his crew now. I'm fine with him being in the background. I'm 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 fine with him being a Yondu. But mm-hmm. moving past that, right. yeah, back to back to where we were. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean so, to go back. So 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 my conjecture is he's he's the black suit. He loses the black suit. They drop Venom in the middle of the Infinity War movies. Yep, because they'll be. I, I don't. I don't know if they'll do it in the same year. You think they'll do it in the same year? You think they'll split them up or, or two years even? Wait, they're both, filming them consecutively. They won't drop them in the same year. You don't think so? No. Okay. That they they are going to want to spread that money out. They're going to well, milk of it. I, don't get me wrong, and that's the perfect upper time for Sony to strike. Yeah. <laughs> you drop that Venom movie here. You know, here's Tom Hardy in this black suit, and you're already cool with like Spider Man in the black suit, so it's a good transfer, a good bleed of fans. Mm, possibly, but I mean, like. Especially if you're telling the Eddie Brock Venom story, it's like part of Eddie Brock is he got screwed by Peter Parker. Right. That's what I'm right. saying. Mm-hmm. And, and let that happen in Homecoming, and then like maybe some yeah. glimpses of hmm. you know some fus uh, through. Well, but we it would be a lot of helping though. I would be very shocked they, if we see any this Tom is Hardy conjecture. In Homecoming. They, because, no, no, no. Yeah, true. That's true. Because that's a lot of what just heard. came out. We would have yeah. heard. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Uh, well, as a Spidey fan, I'm like. Anytime Venom shows up, I'm like, okay, this could be cool. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, I remember Topher Grace's Venom. <laughs> oh. So Hollywood, don't f*** this up again. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Evan. Do you think this will bleed over into a Carnage movie? Or do you think this is where they want to go with it? I could definitely. Uh, there is a huge fan. <laughs> well, and Carnage right now, Carnage USA. Uh, no, Carnage USA, that story arc is over. But uh, here recently, Carnage has had one of the better uh, ongoing comics. <sighs> I guess it's a possibility. I think it'd be hard to do. It would be hard to do. The only way I could see that happening or working is if Sony's Spider-Verse actually does catch on and they can build that story contained within that universe, almost like a maximum carnage type thing where Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, Spider-Man says, I can't beat this guy on my own. I need help and enter Venom and and they fight together to, to bring down carnage. I don't, it's a possibility, but like, let's just get venom first before we start trying to bring in other symbiotes <laughs> and, and stop before we get to anti venom. Cause that was just dumb. It's <laughs> terrible. Sorry. All right. Very good. I think we've, I think we've drained the venom from that one. So let's move on. I see oh. what you did there. <laughs> oh my God. And he talks about our editing. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm not a master segwayer like you guys are. Yeah, our segue. Er, uh, yeah, wow. as I, yeah. As I pat ourselves on the back, I just shit my pants. Uh, yeah, our segue game was on point last. It week. really was, mm-hmm. I, and I and I'm not even trying to compete with that. So, <laughs> um, Matt, I know you. I know that as a teaser for Thursday, you're going to be talking Star Trek Discovery. I want I people. To, I want people to know that's coming. Would you like to talk about Destiny? I have been a big. I even put out a Reddit thread on this. Do you feel Destiny 2 is just a kick in the balls? <laughs> and that's not the title of it. I don't want you to search it. Have you, know, you gotten some responses on that? I was going to say Reddit people would like, upvote the hell out of that thread. They that didn't. The they actually didn't. They, there was people like, what do you mean, chap? You know, I, I, don't, I don't think people understood what I was talking about. That's li- literally <laughs> almost on, on, on verbatim um, what was said to me. Uh, <laughs> Well, explain now. What do I you know, mean? I yeah, know. I'm, 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 this is hard for me. Chappie. It's hard. It's Chappie hard for it's hard for me to feel like I was wrong. That movie wasn't that great. Chappie. <laughs> Chappie? Do you see, I like I Chappie. I want to see it. I haven't I seen it yet. It. I want to see it. It is all right, but not that great. Um, 
Now, I, I felt like Destiny 2, we got this big promise, and I did go back. It was a promise to be a 10-year game. What I did not know is that it was a 10-year deal to be a game, but which means that they have a contract for 10 years to put out content. Okay. That contract has not been fulfilled. <laughs> so, because they had so many start and stops, they fired composers, they fired voices, they've done all kinds of crazy stuff with Destiny 1. Think they'll let us borrow their bikes? <laughs> yeah, no crap. Oh, God. Sorry. <clears throat> Please continue. <laughs> so, you get back to it, and I didn't buy the last expansion. The the Iron Wheel or whatever it is. I don't know what it's called. Um, uh, Age of Iron. There you go. Age of Iron, Iron Wheel, I think it's a no. movie about sl- dog sledding. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Blizzard is putting out a game about dog sledding? Is that you what I heard? Like Breaking you. news. I already everybody. know Justin's money is invested in Blizzard, so let's not even talk about where your money is. <laughs> Activision owns you. <laughs> well, and uh, I have something to... Did, did y'all see that uh, Blizzard is actually going to host Destiny 2 on Battle.net on the PC? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah, I did see mm-hmm. something about that, but I didn't, I didn't pay yeah, attention to awesome. it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that, is, that is Blizzard Activision synergy right there. Nice. Mm-hmm. But I, 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 I think we posted up about the, the trailer. You know how I feel about trailers. I was like, I'll watch the trailer. <laughs> you know, it's a video game. I don't care. I put it on there. I watched that trailer twice. Mm-hmm. That trailer is absolutely amazing. They know how to make a trailer. That <laughs> cinematic, I, I literally was like, give me a gun. Yep. I want in. I want in now. I got to go work on my light score. Let's it go. It was enough for me to not only flip my opinion on this game, I went and bought the last expansion. <laughs> wow. I was like, wow. I got to play this crap. <laughs> I got to know what's happening. I have to know because the story is so compelling on this trailer. And I'm hoping that this game can back it up. Mm-hmm. I really do. That I, I'm all in. I'm all in. I'm, I'm, I'm about to, to do the pre-order for the beta just to make sure I get that. There you go. I mean, it looks amazing. Uh, some of the stuff they've touted that you you get, you know, the the weapons, uh, some of the maps. They're opening up all kinds of different parts of the mm-hmm. map, so it's not unfamiliarity. Um, it's against you know a new enemy or not a new enemy, but a more updated cabal. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's insane. Yeah, so. I'm I'm right there with you. Maybe I don't think I was. I don't want to say you were anti Destiny, but it, I just you, felt you hurt. Did, you did, yeah, exactly. My feelings you had a were love hurt. hurt relationship yeah. with her. I was yeah. hurt. Hey, I'm very sensitive when it comes to my money and games. I get that, you and, be. and you weren't ready to trust again. No, I wasn't. I wasn't ready to jump back <laughs> in that relationship. But you know, they showed up with candy mm-hmm. and flowers and apologies. Yep. And it's hard to turn down a dinner date. It, it, really, it really is. is. Mm-hmm. And, so. and and you were just focused on working on you. That's right. And dating yourself. That's right. But then they shut. Sorry, I'm gonna get out. But I I really <laughs> I really up. liked the uh, the trailer. I'm right there with oh you. Oh my gosh. Like, like Justin said, it's like they know how to make a trailer. Yeah, they, they do. They know how to hit all those buttons. And it's like uh, we were talking earlier off the mic. I was at Best Buy last night with my girlfriend, and we both just stopped and watched watched the trailer because they had it at a kiosk. And I turned to her. It's like I am so ready to get back into Destiny. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like uh, the hype train is here, everybody. H- hop aboard. One might say it is your destiny. Ah, oh, look <laughs> at this guy. He might not have transitions, but his pun game is on point. Are we on? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'd be here all the week. <laughs> you have to tell them to try the veal now. So. Try the veal. <laughs> Tip your waitress. There we go. Yep. <laughs> it's ladies night. <laughs> all right. Um, but I, I don't know. It, but I will say, this has come from Bungie. And Bungie has built a cinematic universe for Halo. Mm-hmm. Regardless of how the game failed, they build great cutscenes. Yeah. They do. They do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I was never... So I just jumping on Halo for one second. I played the original Halo. I was never a Halo guy. Part I wasn't of, either. Part of, I wasn't reason, either. part of the reason was I'm, I've never really been an Xbox guy. Mm-hmm. I had an original Xbox that's the only one I've ever owned, and it was modded, and I played more arcade games on it than I did Xbox games. Because mm-hmm. um, it was modded, and modded stuff is the best. It was. Sorry, go ahead. Right. So, so I wasn't even playing Microsoft content. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I did play Halo, and it was just it was never my hashtag jams. And <laughs> hash, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag jams. jams. <laughs> How do we do? J-A-M-Z... <laughs> Wow, I just want you to know we have never said that and it just came right out of his mouth. Hashtag jams. <laughs> I meant to do it as hashtag my jams and I did it in the middle. I, I jammed awesome. it right in the middle. I, I, I loved the uh, the jams and the hologram <laughs> reboot movie. That was fantastic. Um, oh, man. <laughs> but but uh, Destiny, I was late to the party. Um, I bought the, is it the, st- what is it called? The King? Taking King. Taking King, King expansion. Mm-hmm. You um, came in when they re- <laughs> yeah. I was, was going to say like, you, so, you showed so up. The you party didn't get any. He didn't get any Dinklage. So I showed up. That's yeah. right. I didn't he lost the Dinklage. Yeah. I showed up on time. 
I really enjoy that game. I, I, I like a lot of aspects of it. I think I think it's fun to play. It's easy to pick up and play. Mm-hmm. There isn't a huge learning curve. Um, I like the co-op is very free form. Yes. Mm-hmm. Like you're just out in the world. People are out there. You can go ahead and co-op together. Mm-hmm. And, and it's and it makes it it makes it very smooth to yes. play. Um <clears throat> it's it doesn't feel huge and overwhelming like some things can. Um, but it at the same time. It's not as it's not like you're going into a Mass Effect open world where you can do anything. Mm-hmm. Um, so so it is it's contained. You know what you're supposed to be doing, and it, but it's fun. There's a lot of fun that can come from that game. So me personally, I just stopped playing it just because I've played started playing other games and I have limited right. limited game mm-hmm. time. And so I didn't <laughs> so even I. run through all the content in Destiny One. I'm excited about two. I, I'm well. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get it early, and, and we'll get mm-hmm. some Absolutely. at least at least yeah. the PS guys over yeah. here. That PS quat and, until they <laughs> until they break down those walls. I know. <laughs> now Come I on. thought we were in the uh, building up walls period. Oh yeah, more oh, walls yeah, exactly. More walls. And we're gonna make Konami pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. So until we get more walls, or I mean less walls. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, shout but out I'm, to John Wall. But I'm John excited. Wall. I'm going to do the John Wall dance when I start playing Destiny. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, Matt, I just I wanted to I wanted you to have a chance to talk about that because I feel like you have really come 180 on the Destiny. I just I, it I want I want to be a naysayer. I really do. I'm like you know I want to say I just I I can. It's too amazing. It's too. It looks too good. It looks they fixed a lot of the co-op problems where you couldn't play. Um, Certain missions, unless you had fire teams, mm-hmm. you don't have to have fire team. Yeah, you can like go that. in. You yeah. can go into mm-hmm. to to these 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 raids and stuff like that, and they set you up with a team that's equal to your level. That's nice. cool. So you're not going to get in there and somebody's got like you know the 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 sword of oblivion and they're just like everyone's dead yeah. <laughs> here just pick up my particles exactly you know? yeah it's like i'm just gonna stand over here they, and get gear they yeah. become they become you know uh no trademark infringement here but, but, but basically a loot crate because they're just beating <laughs> everything to death and you're just like picking stuff up you're like you know p.s loot crate we would love for you to sponsor this show. absolutely all day mm-hmm. all we, day bro. i consider ourselves the loot crate of podcast because every week we get, bring you presents from all of geekdom that's right hmm, I yeah like that. from different so, different relevant things i think it's a match made in heaven i'm gonna make some calls yeah loot crate give us stuff give us stuff and mm-hmm. if not we'll go on the nerd block yeah <laughs> i don't even know what that means it's good <laughs> okay it was a better one but uh, it's a canadian though so like is everybody getting destiny 2 day one everybody yeah i'm gonna confirmed mm-hmm. i okay, just haven't decided if i wanted to pre-order the deluxe edition and save myself some money if it even saves money or if yeah, i need the, to get the DLC. when does it drop uh isn't it like the first week in september like yeah. i actually think oh, it's, it's like a birthday that, that, present that, <laughs> i think it might I be the day that the dragon Con actually starts let me look that up so that'll be interesting because if it's first week of september i mean i'll just have to negotiate and be like well let's just go ahead and get a birthday you can present. do what i did and say well this goes for father's day and my birthday even <laughs> though yours is stretched out more than mine you should just say that anyway <laughs> They're close enough. It is. It is close enough. I I'd say they're close enough to be neighbors. So that's 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 how I and negotiated I, a new phone. <laughs> I did look up, by the way, um, Venom. Just I wanted to, to give you oh, a yeah, drop yeah. date for Venom. It's it's October of 2018, so it's a long. Oh, way. September 8th of this year. Oh my Destiny god! Too. Perfect timing. Happy birthday, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> you could put a candle on it. <laughs> <laughs> and even better, it's the week after Dragon Con. So guess what, nerds? Wow. You don't have to decide one or the other. Yep. Oh, you go blow they, your money were, there, and then go blow. I'd your say money. that was a strategic choice on the part of uh, Bungie. Bungie knows what's up, yeah. so we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. They're not stupid. I Bungie, would say give that. us stuff. Give us stuff. We love Bungie. I'm going to make some calls after this show. <laughs> you know John Bungie? Wow. I do. I'm going to do the John Bungie dance. John, <laughs> why is everybody John? <laughs> why can't there be any Sams or some Stans or you know? Uh, I don't know. Derek's. <laughs> uh, Derek Bungie. You, you don't trust Bill it. Bungie. Bill Bun. Bill Bungie. Bill right. Bungie. I made video games. <laughs> he stood twelve feet tall. Sorry. <laughs> he what? had an axe. Come on, Dad. Get us back on track here. This is what happens. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to do a good mix of both. I'm going to keep us on track, but I'm going to let you guys play. Okay. Right. <laughs> play. Get Thanks, in. Dad. Get in your okay. play time. He's trying to wear his hat, so we'll go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get you a juice box. <laughs> you know, I could go for a nap. No. I'm, juice I'm box tired. and a blankie. Can we go home? <laughs> He will turn this podcast around, young man. <laughs> All right. What else you got? I gave I gave Matt his moment in the sunshine here. Landon, I know there's some things you wanted to talk about this week. What have we not hit yet? Um, well, 
you made reference to it earlier. There was another alien. There you uh, go. It was in the news. Uh, alien Covenant dropped, uh, I guess, as of this recording two days ago, this past Friday, uh, when you're listening to it, also this past Friday. You want to talk about a hot take? Here comes one. Oh, save your money. Uh, <laughs> this is an HBO Go movie. This is a Redbox movie. This is a dollar theater movie. Don't pay full price for this. Uh, this is a bad retelling of the first Alien. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it just in general broad points. Tell if you want to skip ahead, skip like a minute ahead. Tell me if this sounds familiar. Crew on a spaceship gets a mysterious call. They decide to go and answer this mysterious call. They find a crashed ship carrying something. <laughs> something infects the team. All hell breaks loose. They get back on their boat and whatever was whatever infected them is now on their boat. Of course. And hilarity ensues. <laughs> Does this sound familiar to all anybody sudden, else? No, what happens? All of a sudden, <laughs> Yakety Sack starts playing. Well, at least in this one, we have uh, Kenny Powers on the spaceship. So that helps. But it's like... This is this is a bad retelling Didn't you of get fast the original Bender? Alien. Yeah, you had fast spinners. Like in all honesty, the, it shouldn't have been called Alien Covenant. It should have been called Prometheus Covenant because this continues yeah. the Prometheus story <laughs> more than it does the Alien movie. You feel like it's a little bait and switch. I, I really do, and it's like not once was I quote unquote scared. I was going to ask movie. you, was it scary? At no, all? not at all. Like especially for a movie that had the tagline of "Run." Yeah, mm -hmm. you would have thought I'd have been scared at least once. The trailer looks scary. Mm hmm. That just shows it you. It ain't. That just shows you, Matt. Watch <laughs> out for these trailers, <laughs> yeah, Matt. We've been telling you. You need to watch out for trailers. I know. <laughs> they they can they can get you. But it, get you. it's like I will say there was one good thing that came out of this. My or I went and saw it with my girlfriend. My girlfriend had never seen any of the Alien movies. She had just seen Prometheus. Mm -hmm. So she walked out of it and she's like, I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But she wanted to go see the original Alien movie. Uh, so that's the way to go. I've already shown her the original. We're going to watch the sequel. How far are you going to go? Just Aliens. Oh, just the two. Just Alien Aliens? Yes. You're not going to go to Aliens 3? No, I'm not. No Prison Planet? No Prison Planet. <laughs> Maybe get in with the uh, with the very last one, just to have kind of a uh, drinky night and make fun of it, Mystery Science Theater style. But Oh, yeah. Like, I'll probably just stop after Aliens. But it's like, seriously, if... if if you're an Alien fan, just watch the original again. Save, save yourself some money. <laughs> and enjoy uh, it. And, yeah, yeah. You can actually enjoy the first one. Alien Covenant, not so much. Sigourney Weaver, the first badass. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. If you, if you want a better retelling of Aliens, I would suggest you watch the most recent episode of Bob's Burgers, which was the Mother's Day episode. And uh, <laughs> what the, so, so Linda couldn't make it to the kids' Mother's Day program, and Bob was supposed to record it. His video camera failed, so the kids had to tell Linda what their show was about. Oh, God. So um, Tina's story was about... <laughs> it was supposed to be set in space, and she basically retold Aliens, not only as an alien story, but there was also a body switch aspect of it. <laughs> so Sigourney Weaver switched with the alien queen. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to tell you, get a little plug to Bob's Burgers' most recent episode. Watch that. It's probably better than going to see Alien Covenant. Plus, you can stream it for free on Hulu or Netflix or mm -hmm. wherever you stream stuff. And plus, Bob's Burgers rules. So. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, don't go see Alien Covenant. It sucked. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Case closed. Yep. <laughs> Though I will say, uh, online, it's a very divisive movie. You either love this movie and think it's great, you think it's a return to alien form, or you're in my camp where it's like, this is garbage. I think it's old. I think it's old fans, new fans. It, well, it's like, the interesting based thing off, is... Based off what Cassie's saying, I feel like if you don't have that background... You maybe know, maybe you won't be nearly as disappointed. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, oh, okay, this is just more of the same with the little different aspect to it. Hmm, I hadn't thought of that because it's like I went and saw this in a group of like 10. There's only one person who, who had a positive say of this movie. So, but, and he is an old school fan, so. That's, hmm. Yeah, but. Do you think it was, I will say this, it, I know that this isn't the Q&A part, but. <laughs> <laughs> it is, this is a panel with Landon. Um, yeah, <laughs> Did the ship reflect like the the technology and everything that we saw in Alien and Aliens? You remember how raw and just like well, cargo mm -hmm. shippy it was, you Espe know? especially after seeing Alien Covenant back to back with the original Alien. It's still like I don't think the technology matches uh, that time. You think there's no there's no um, 
Almost continuity, continuity yeah, between yeah. the ships. Mm-hmm. Um, I was thinking maybe maybe the old fans are latching onto that as like, oh, it's the old ships, you know. I mean, it's the same guy telling the story. So yeah, it's still Ridley Scott. Why why <laughs> wouldn't he know what he did? I, I I just don't know. It's like again, like if this had been called Prometheus Covenant, maybe I wouldn't have been so disappointed because you probably wouldn't have saw it. I, yeah, I probably wouldn't have saw it. <laughs> and, because, that's, and that's why it wasn't called Prometheus but it Covenant. Also would have that's changed. True. It also would have changed your expectations. That is also true, true because I went and it's like, all right, it's an alien movie. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's like honestly, I'd put this up with like Godzilla level disappointment. For really? Me. Yeah. Maybe, and and that could be why you're taking it so hard. Because I'm going to give you um, just to balance it out. Here's here mm-hmm. are some reviews from on- online. So Tomato Meter, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, seven, I was about to say what's Seventy three percent. The audience score. Wow. The audience score sixty four. It's not glowing, but it's not awful. It's more positive than me. And then uh, Metacritic. Metacritic is sixty six percent. That's I, pretty high. Right now, mm-hmm. IMDb is seven out of ten. So hmm. so really, people are like. It, that's a C, right? Yeah. So, I think we've eaten up the clock for today. So, uh, any, I, was, any, I was trying to find a metric for your uh, for your, your aliens movie. The last Fassbender movie we had was Assassin's Creed, just because I want to talk about Assassin's Creed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a seventeen on the tomato, the tomato meter and a forty seven on the audience. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I mean at over seventy. It's, you got to be a fan of the game. Over yes. seventy, the Covenant is is a certified. It's not certified fresh, but it is a fresh score. So, mm-hmm. it, I mean, again, I talked. It's like you either love it or you hate it. So yeah. I'm really surprised to hear that that its ratings are that high. Yeah. So we'll see. It's made a lot of money. Apparently, this weekend it made more than Guardians for the weekend. Okay. Um. So it so it kind of yeah. Um, but I mean, I know I, Guardians I think has been we had, a few weeks. But I think you know, like Landon's like I was going to see an Aliens movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's that's where they they. Hooked you. Yeah, I am curious to see how big of the drop off is going to be week one to week two for this movie. I mean, obviously, it's making all the money this weekend. Yeah. See, it's going to debut at number one. I'm interested to see just how big of a drop off there's going to be in week two. Sounds good. That that'll be interesting because now people are going to hear these kind of reviews. Mm-hmm. We're we are torpedo p- torpedoing Ridley Scott right now. Yeah, all in these, your face, Ridley. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get a personal phone call now. Yeah, we actually know him, so he'll be pissed. He's going to come down here and be like, guys, I heard the podcast. You're bad-mouthing me. What's up with that? Do you think he'll even show up for Friday coffee? We'll see. I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know how Ridley is. I know, I know. I Lovable can, guy, but but he can be a curmudgeon sometimes. I can yeah, run faster than both of you guys, so I'm fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> the physically fit Justin Kritzinger over here, dude. That's by fun. the way, let me tell you this benefit of getting oh, a six million electric. dollar man here. <laughs> <laughs> one of the here's one of the things you'll hear, and it is totally true. You can't eat solids after you have a tonsillectomy, so you will lose weight. I lost a good ten pounds. Wow, well, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, so I am at my almost actually lower than my high school weight. At Damn, this dude! Point. I know I'm looking sickly. A new, a new yeah. diet craze: tonsillectomies. <laughs> That's right. Everybody go because I'll tell you, it's very effective when you have like your throat's axed up, chopped up. You don't want to really swallow anything. It's very effective. Just drink some beer. It's not solid, <laughs> mm, it's and it'll, it'll keep the weight on too. Mm. Yeah. True. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, any final thoughts before we wrap this thing up for today? Mm, no. That sounded painful. Yeah. Landon? Uh, there, uh, was, there was something I had, and then it went away. I'm still I'm still concerned about Matt over here, so I don't have anything to plug except it, my it, Twitter, twitter.com slash L-A-N-D-O-Z. All complaints go to that one, too. Yeah, <laughs> bring it on, dumbasses. <laughs> Sorry, that, but was very, got, that was very combative. I apologize. But <laughs> if you've got good things to say to us, you can interact with us on Twitter, <laughs> at nerd underscore news underscore cafe. You can follow us on our Facebook fan page, um, just Nerd News Cafe. You can go to our website, nerdnewscafe.com, and where our videos are posting to YouTube. I want to tease there's going to be some more content because I recently found an original video that Matt um, and I filmed when we first started doing this podcast. I'm going to add to some of our video archive, and we are going to drop a... This is going to be great. It's going to be like a YouTube... We're going to take over YouTube. That's what we're going to do. We're coming for you, YouTube. And we're going to do like a This is Nerd News Cafe in your face uh, video coming out pretty soon. So We uh, have to call it that. The it nerd will be news in your in face. face. In, in your face. face. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be our YouTube stuff. Nerd News Cafe in your face. In your face. <laughs> be like, why is this channel so angry? Yeah, <laughs> these guys are so good. My hashtag jams. <laughs> hashtag jams. Jams. God. <laughs> um, Can you hashtag my hashtag jams? <laughs> but also you can email us. Nerd News Cafe at Gmail. And I guess I just want to wrap it up by saying, Brandy, you're a fine girl. What a good wife you would be. But my life, my love, my lady is the sea. Matt, take us out. Been transmission. <laughs> <laughs>